Hey, I'm back. Uh, I realized that from playing ranked, I kind of get paid to practice. And even though I don't really like, or am, I'm not really a big fan of making ranked videos, it seems that I just can't help but do exactly what other people want me to do, or what they want me to record. And it makes sense too, or it's like at least, it's it's nice to see that when I, when Three, I practice, two, people one, still watch it anyway. So I might as well like give in and just try. But essentially with Diana, it's the same process with Kaya, except I have more comfort on blasters. It's like less it's like less consistent, but it, it still pours out a lot more damage and it kinda keeps me in line with a lot of the other top players. Because Spear just feels kinda iffy. And guitars feel just as iffy, not a little iffier. But blasters in general. I just have I just had a, a lot of like experience on already. Like what you're seeing right now is not this isn't like new to me. I've been playing Blasters for like years before I played Kaya, which is like maybe two or three before I swapped. So I just have her around and I never really uncovered her up, up until just now. We're doing good so far. Also, double recovery. Even though I don't have access to certain move sets anymore, it's fine. I can't not live without them. I think we should be good for the most part. I'll just have to remember my roles on this character. Oh, that was actually correct. Now we just gotta finish him off. Not bad. Player one wins. Twenty-four? Not bad. We gotta make some progress today. I kinda just deranked for a bit. Rebound. Lara Croft! Lara Croft! <laughs> Three, two, one, brawl! All oh, right, San Diego. I will make sure to get those things recorded ASAP. Like literally ASAP. I would love to have some vlog going on my YouTube channel because it turns out it it has existed before when Starlight was like the two v two world champ, and since then nobody has actually recorded vods or like just just recorded their experience at all or shared it with the world, which is insane to me. I feel like that's huge content. Like just right then and there. And I don't think of I don't think of things as like money per se, but like it would just be nice to kind of grow an audience that just doesn't really exist in the Brawl community. And that's why I do things outside of rings because it's not I don't want to demonstrate just my skill, but I want to demonstrate how I am as a person. We're doing really good so far. In general, we just have to keep them away from us. And then once they start going full screen, we start using our full screen options. Once we aim for stage control anyways. And I feel like Blasters makes it a lot easier. Or a lot more convenient, at least for me. I should have dodged just a little bit later. Just a little bit. Or jump dodge, either one, to be honest. Miss input. Not bad. I mean, I'm landing with an aerial and this guy's like, not doing anything to stop me. Or like, he is doing something to stop me, I mean. That's why I'm trying not to do it. But it's like a, just a small habit of mine. Also, that. 
Blasters has so much frontal coverage, it actually feels like I'm playing a high priority secondary. Like with Spear, it's actually strangely easy to stuff it out, at least nowadays with the character pool that people have. I don't know, it's just the sake of comfort. Well, it's more than just comfort, it's like a mix of both. Let me get the dodge away, lucky. So cool. And th that's another thing, it's like, there's so much coverage, it's so nice, it's so convenient. And just like that, we go up a spot. Nice. Dominating. Three, two, one, brawl! Oh, I know this guy. I met him at BCX. A very awkward first interaction for anybody who was at BCX, by the way. Like, they were awkward at first, and then eventually we kind of just grew accustomed to each other for for the rest of the weekend. It was really nice. And overall, a very nice experience. Holy, that's broken. Keeping it slow. Ooh, that's not that's not a good idea anyways. It's like just getting into the range from afar, like really makes hammer and bow struggle a lot too. It's not it's like not a good fight for this guy. Uh for this guy. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Blasters has a very easy time getting into bow. I thought it was the other way around, but turns out it's just a lot more convenient for, for blasters. Because you just poke right in the range where bow players could possibly just set up to get like a D light in with just dash side light alone. And dash side light is actually quicker. Not even by a lot, and it also has a very generous hitbox from from half stage. Not saying bow is bad. In that situation, Blasters have a good chance of winning. Player two wins. Who is this? I think I know who this is. Three, two, one, brawl! The best way to get to take advantage of like a blasters player is to see if you can just get in in their range at all times. Cause the only way to stop them is to stop them from getting momentum in the first place. In other words, just have them be in the air, have them be extremely uncomfortable and force them to use their aerials. Because all of their aerials, although good, are pretty high cost. Like you'll you'll kinda notice. Like they're so good that they kinda just have to use them in a way. I might actually have to stay on bow this time. Blasters into orb might not be all that convenient. That was good. I thought he was going to go for Sarah.
Not bad. This guy's just losing a lot of neutral interactions. And with blasters being such high damage and force, it's like, it's always going to be noticeable no matter what. And they just generate so much pressure like I did with this person right here. Just from blasters having so much presence from all the low startup. You're, you're very well off just holding stage and like you don't really need to extend too far off stage which is convenient for me because you know, I'm not very good off stage. I just play where most of the game is played on the stage. done that. I already... What if it's... Uh, like... It's like the... It's like the sandpaper of string weapons. Very rough and weird. <laughs> that makes no sense. I'm so sorry, bro. No, he screenshotted it and he left. Oh, my soul. Why would you do it? You're gonna fight me later anyway! Not bad. Good extension. I was like happy at first, but <laughs> the 1-1 one, one is like still getting to me, bro. Kinda need to watch out. We got Not bad at all. Alright. Both of these are really good for blasters, so I'd rather just play blasters at this point. Get the practice in.
I'm actually on fire at the moment. My god, literally no words. Honestly, some of the best I've played on Blast. I've got no words, that's all I can say. Three, two, one, brawl! Spamming a little bit, but it's fine. Holy, that was a go to punish. guys like way too into me Make this kill as hard for him to get as humanly possible. There we go. We actually have a good lead. Another one. Very sizable, actually. Very sizable. You should be able to play around a ton. This guy's moving a lot more than I thought. I thought I should probably move a bit slower actually. Mostly because there's nothing to dodge. Alright, just had to shut up because the last thing I would have to expect is to get reverse 3 stocks. Legit one of the worst moves of all time.
out hella resources, and they disconnected. No, nope, from that match alone, I already got gold, but it feels wrong to kind of end it on that note anyways. Ooh, yeah, we'll leave it on this note then. This is actually one of the best Ember players, maybe rank 5 or 10. I don't exactly remember though. Three, but two, I definitely know that one, he's up there. Brawl. So we'll see how he does. They're spacing out extremely well. Hmm. I should probably stop dodging the way I do. I should probably win more neutral interactions. I don't know why I'm failing on them so much. Good dodge when we catch Impala. Now we have to close the gap or I'll get n Not even kidding. Alright, since we're at this point in time, we could just go for Nair, or like branch off of it. Or not. Yeah, but I should not have done that. When people play at, at, at like Dark Red, it seems as if they like know exactly what to do against our weapons, so... We, we prefer we have weapons where we actually hit the person a lot more often. And in a way where like we could actually set up for a kill. With Blasters, it's it's more set up for damage. Party flame. on his end. We could lose this, we could lose this, we gotta be careful. He's playing mostly bow, so we could play mostly blasters. We'll see. Not bad on me. Alright, let's keep playing blasters and hopefully what we do works out. Blasters are so invasive into bow. Alright, please. One more, one more, one more. <sighs> or we could just end it there. Yippee! That should be everything. I'll see you guys later. Peace.